What's up, it's Taylor Drake, and you're tuned in with Never Satisfied TV. What's happening, guys? It's Sir Abiola, and this is the, the Weekly Wrap Up. So let's go ahead and start with this week's scorching hot news. 50 Cent and Meek Mill. 50 Cent and They're Meek beefing. Mill. They're beefing. They're beefing tough, and it's all over the place. It's hilarious. It's probably like one of the most number one things on social media right now. The bobbleheads, the Wendy Williams. It's, Everything. It's Everyone everything. is chiming in on this beef. And it all started because Meek Mill dropped an EP recently of four tracks, which personally I felt like the tracks were fire, they were hot, especially the song Game of Hope, actually one of my favorites on that mixtape. Um, but he sent some shots out to Drake and 50 Cent, which he probably don't want to do. It's like he started his career of L's in 2016 all over again. Like It's like he's taking residual Kind of like a trend when he drops a mixtape, he takes more L's? I, I don't understand it. Like, I don't know. Like, you just you got to choose your battles wisely. Go to 50 Cent's Instagram. You're going to see all the hilarious memes. Opportunity. Let's spin, Pat. Wow. Yeah, four and Oh man, oh man. Land down right Not again. And yo, he's the king of petty, so it's like the wrong person to be with. So Meek Mill, I fuck with your take, but you're taking an L for sending shots at Drake. And he called out Nikki. Like you you, you called out your yeah, own. Yeah, you called your I didn't do that. He stated like, that he smashed Nicki Minaj the same day that Drake ate her out. So I'm just like, ah, you don't do that. You don't you know. Why do you think that's okay? But hey, take that L. We're keeping it moving, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on. Oscars. Oscars. So recently, they just released the list of Oscar nominees, um, and pretty much all the categories were um, white actors and actresses. Um, so the hashtag came about, hashtag Oscars so white. Um, a lot of black actors and black actresses are uh, pretty upset that some movies that they felt nominated you know, didn't deserve it over others, like Creed, um, Concussion, uh, a lot of movies, the movie with Idris Elba, Beast of No Nation. Um, and, and to that note, uh, Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, um, put something out there in the media. She kind of just stated that, you know, Will Smith deserves it. And, yeah, and uh, I agree. A lot of people are, are boycotting the Oscars now. A lot of black uh, artists, uh, Spike Lee, Janet, Snoop Dogg. Uh, Somebody asked me, was I going to watch the motherfucking Oscars? Fuck no. <laughs> the fuck I'm going to watch that bullshit for? Nigga, they ain't got no niggas nominated. All these great movies and all this great shit y'all keep stealing from us. Fuck you. Fuck you. But the funny thing is, it's hosted by Chris Rock. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, also, Janet Hubert, which was the original Aunt Viv, put out a statement kind of backlashing against what Jada said. So go check it Kinda. out. <laughs> no, she, she definitely. She went did. in. She went in. Actually. She responded. And uh, she, she basically thought it was a load of bullshit. And, uh, you know. You know, they're only wanting the black support when it favors them and they don't really help out the black community. So go check that out and, and see what's going on with that. As the story develops, we're going to give you guys some more news on that one for sure. Stacey Dash also spoke on it though. Stacey Dash. She you spoke are on clueless. <laughs> you are. I'm declaring this the official racial draft, okay? White people, you can have Stacey Dash, Raven, give Raven, Raven Simone. Don Lemon and Ben Carson, and we'll take uh, what? Adele. I like Will Ferrell. I'll take Will Ferrell. <laughs> Adele, Post Malone, give us Robin Thicke, Justin Timberlake. We'll take them all. Take Stacey Dash got on national television and said that there should be no more BET no or more Black, Black History, History Month. Month. Like, what? Do you not see your pigmentation? Like, come on. I understand what points you were trying to make, but they were they were horrible. So, Stacey, take this L. Ridiculous. But let's turn those L's into W's. Is that a W? That's what's up. We're going to talk about Future. He is taking W's in 2016 already. Tell him what Future did. He dropped his mixtape on Sunday from the rain. Yes. Um, it's complete fire to me. I love it. Um, I, what's the one that's called? It's fire. I feel like it's medium hot. Like, it's, it's, it's hot. Like, I, I dig it. There's some good tracks on there. Um, but it's not his best work. It's but his best, the good thing is, he said it's just a warm up. So we're going to see more music from Future. I'm really excited for it. And let's talk about how petty he was for dropping it the same day that the Seahawks played. On Sunday. Russell Wilson. When else to drop it? How perfect of you to drop it on the day? Twitter went in flames. Like, look at these movies. Like, these were my favorite ones. And I just died laughing all day Sunday. Russell Wilson took an L on the field and off the field. I, I feel for you. My girlfriend. That's probably what he was singing on his way home. Like, damn, my name's Sierra because fucking Future is just making me look like a fool. But guys, 
Thank you for tuning in. This is the weekly wrap up. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. I'm Taylor Dre. I'm Sir Abiola. Bye, you guys. And we're out. She like, she like.